spaghetti boiling, bolognese simmering, bread baking. I pulled out a pasta to try it and I dropped it and I couldn't find it on the floor. To another cooking with chronically Jackie video in this video we are going to make spaghetti bolognese it is one of Judd's favorite recipes we've got the ingredients here uh, whipping cream cooking wine tomato paste um, I like to use classico traditional spaghetti sauce garlic olive oil I used ground beef and ground pork spaghetti and then in here I've got chopped up onion I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil and I'm going to start sauteing the onions and then when those are sauteed I'm going to add this it's just um frozen peas and carrots that I thawed out by rinsing in water I'm going to add that so we're going to get started oh. okay hippo you're cute but I gotta go back to the kitchen all right, the onions are on their way. So I'm gonna add some garlic and the peas and carrots. Cook that for a minute or two and then I'm gonna add in the ground meat. Is it done yet? It's not done yet. Oh what about now? No, I've got the ground beef and the ground pork and I'm gonna cook the meat. Is it done yet? Why don't you tell them what you just told me, babe? Uh, well, anyone who's married should know not to admit when your wife is right, because that just ruins the relationship. <laughs> but Jack got me these instead of regular old toast cheese, which is like my it's favorite. It's a brand difference. He was like, favorite hey, snack. Get these? But as I found out, these kind of taste better than the original toast cheese. So he gave me crap about getting him these, and these are better. And I was just like, okay. <laughs> what does Hippo think? Can you taste the difference? Give that back. Silly dog. Those are for humans. So I've got it on a medium high heat and I'm just poking and stirring. So after the meat is all cooked, that is when I turn on this pot to oil the pasta. I make sure everything is well combined. And then we add in Good stuff. Dark pasta. That's <laughs> when we get the husband. Oh, it is tight. I loosened it for ya. Thank you. Oh, jar of pasta. Are you going in the pantry again? This is gonna be done soon. How many snacks do you need? You're okay, it'll be done soon. I like to use the whole thing. Gross. What do you mean gross? Babe, you love this. It's like your favorite meal. But it looks gross. I was very intrigued about what you're doing. This is what it looks like from a hippo's perspective. I was always intrigued before. Alright, so once you got the tomato paste and the sauce in there, you just mix it up. Alright, good. You're gonna mix it all together. Uh, and then you're gonna take your red wine. I have this black box. I was about to say Merlot. Shows how much wine I drink. Merlot. I don't drink any alcohol, but I use it for cooking. I don't really measure it. Use a good amount. Jeb really likes a wine taste to his pastas, so I use a lot. And then you mix it in, and once you have the desired amount of red wine, you reduce the heat and let it simmer for 15 to 20 minutes. And while that's happening, just cook your spaghetti how you normally would. And if you're like Jeb and I, we also do garlic bread. So I have mixed it 
covered it and now I'm gonna let it simmer pretty much by the time the water for the pasta is boiling and then I've cooked the pasta and the pasta is ready then this has simmered long enough and because of the meats that are used red meat pork my body doesn't really handle that very well so this is really a meal for Judd it's one of his favorites but I enjoy cooking it and I'm glad Judd can enjoy it spaghetti boiling bolognese simmering bread baking and while all that is cooking, we are chilling. And this is how we chill. <laughs> oh my gosh. I pulled out a pasta to try it and I dropped it and I couldn't find it on the floor. Isn't it like a thing, like when it sticks, it's ready? Oh, okay, it didn't even stick either. You know what? This one's not gonna be eaten. <laughs> Spaghetti is nearly done, and this is the last part for the bolognese. Favorite part? I'm gonna put in some cream. Mix it in, makes it a really pretty color, gives it a good taste, and then I'm just gonna let it simmer for a few more minutes. Oh my. You're gonna take more? <laughs> Looks tasty. There he goes, drowning it in Parmesan cheese. Don't judge. <laughs> Looks delicious and was it? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Glad you like it, babe. <laughs> yes, you're cute. You already ate all of your spaghetti. The hippo wants spaghetti. It's a lot of spaghetti. You adorable. You are adorable. I love the hippo. Good girl. Well, that was our bolognese. It was tasty. You liked it, babe? Mm -hmm. Need a siesta after all that food. I know. We were both really sleepy. That's why you're cooking that. So I think we're going to take it. Well, is it really enough? No, it's just going to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I don't really follow recipe, but I found a good one that I'll put in the description if any of y'all are interested in trying out some bolognese. Let me know how it turns out, and with that we'll say goodbye, and thanks for joining us on our adventure.